tower that could have gone up near a popular field in Brawley will not be built there after all, at least not for now. Yeah, Brawley residents who were opposed to the idea have been speaking out and citing health concerns, and the vote was in their favor tonight. Benzie Barr has more from Brawley city leaders. Right behind me is where the city of Brawley has proposed a new cell tower be built, and locals are saying that this is not the place for it. These gentlemen, with all due respect, don't live here. We live here. Passionate words from Deborah Owen, a Brawley resident. Some locals are upset that a cell tower could be built next to a playing field. Nicole Rothfleiss, another Brawley local, says that there are plenty of other spaces available. Takes um, property that was set aside for our community youth decades ago for recreational purposes, and they're changing it to commercial land use. Rothfleiss is worried about the possibility of long-term repercussions from having a cell tower near children. The Brawley Planning Commission actually didn't understand why I was having to make the decision on whether or not the tower should be built. City Manager Tyler Saucedo says that it was public comment that pushed this to their agenda. The council has decided that to get the final approval for the tower, it needs to go through the CUP process. So that's why it's here in front of you. Vertical Bridge, the company that wants to build the tower, says it looked at 14 additional sites, but the playing field is the best location for the cell tower. But out of all my candidates, this seemed to be the best location. I asked Mr. Castle if he plans to appeal. He then referred me to his lawyer who said at this time they have no comment. Reporting from Brawley, I'm Vinci Barra.